All right, in this video, I'm going to go through how to check if a Python string is a number. And that could be a float or an int. And this is tricky because there are a lot of formats you have to think about here. So we'll start with is digit and see how that works and then move to better solution. So I put in test strings here, single number, number with uh, decimal place, so it's a float. A number that starts with, it's not a number, starts with digits and then has strings. A number that starts with zero. And then one that's scientific notation, e to the third. So one times 10 to the third or a thousand. So I loop through here and I'm going to print out the string and then is it a digit? Is digit? Does that work? And it does for the single integer and the integer with the zero in front. But it blows it on 2.5 and the scientific notation. Although it gets it right if it has uh, text in there. Now let's do a simple one which is let's get rid of the a decimal place and see if that helps us here. And so sure enough, that works for uh, everything but the scientific notation. Now, let me give you a hint about being more Pythonic. They have what they call the EAFP, easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. That means don't be afraid of try and accept. That's the way they want you to do it, the way they built the language. So in that, I rewrote this as a function, is numeric, and I just try to put it to a float. And if that works, I return true, and if I get a value error, I return false. Now when I go through my test strings, it actually handles all of them correctly. It uh, does 1, 2.5, it is false on this one because it's not a number. It handles the zero in front, and it handles scientific notation which is a really nice plus there. Hope you learned something here. Smash that like button so I can build an audience. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.